Hello, my name is Robin McCracken. I'm with RV1 Superstores. Today I'm going to point out a lot of the features of the Integra Coach Cornerstone, show you why I think it's one of the best values on the market. In fact, with all the stuff that this thing has standard, many manufacturers have to add fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars in options just to keep up with this coach. So hopefully today I'll explain why I think it's the best value out there. Number one, the new look, this thing lights up like a Christmas tree. I mean, if it was darker out there, this is all light. You got your orange lights up there. They know you're coming. And, and it's an exciting new look. It doesn't look like every other coach. I'm big on safety. This coach has safety. The biggest thing with 45,000 uh, pounds is you have to worry about a few things. One, stopping it and one making sure that it stops in, obviously in the right time. And that's where this comes in. This is the only coach on the market right now that has collision avoidance. What that's gonna to mean to you, because there's a few coaches out there since 2008, 2009 that had a VORAD system, and all that does is tie on to your cruise control and it slows you down if a car gets in front of you, but it doesn't stop you. This one actually goes into the system of the coach and applies the brakes. I'm very excited about this and to be standard is amazing and uh, this is the only coach on the market that has it. So it's actually tied into your system. The other thing is it has a sensor in the center of the coach. If you're coming down a mountain and you're going too fast, it will actually apply your brakes to keep you from that off ramp to hit it in too, uh, too hot. So it's just an amazing, amazing thing. A uh, big thing, of course, is the windshield. We talk about the Integra windshield. It has a nice sloping tube instead of the standard uh, straight up and down. And the only way to get this curve that's on both sides is to use a high quality glass. So they use a Turkish glass and what you're going to find is no distortion on, on the sides. So it has a beautiful, beautiful view. Biggest windshield on the market. Amazing. The one thing that I like about the Cornerstone also is the power, the chassis, the way it's built, and we'll go all through that today. Another thing on safety is these are sensors throughout the, around, around the perimeter of the coach. You get too close to something, it'll light up on your mirror, it'll light up on your dash telling you you're way too close. Of course, everybody's got side cameras. That's what that is as well. You got keyless entry. That's another thing that is nice. And that will lock all your bay doors and your front door entrance. So first thing, when you look at these things, I like to investigate the door. Because the door is going to basically tell you how quiet this coach is going to be. And this coach is known to be quiet. In fact, I would put it 50% quieter than any other coach on the market. So part of it is, is this is a standard door. This is just a prefab. Nobody you know, at a factory makes these things, they just buy them, but they're a frame. So if you're in construction background like I was, everything comes in a standard frame and then they have to build the coach around that frame to fit this door. So there's a couple things that make this coach superior. One is you'll notice, I need you to get over here, Ryan, so, is you got two massive hinges here, but I don't have a third one up there. Okay, it's much easier to do a square door. The problem with the square door is there's nothing keeping that coach from rattling and that door from rattling when I'm going 60 miles an hour down the highway. This is how Integra fixed that. This little sensor right there, the minute I put this coach in gear, actually jams this in here, jams it down, sucks the door in, creating a nice vacuum, keeping the noise to a very minimum. The other thing is they're the only ones that do a little fairing right here. I like to call it like a 32 Packard or whatever, but to see where everything is potentially a leak, they got a little wind fairing there to keep it down to a minimum. So you have flushless windows, uh, uh, dual pane, keyless entry, the front uh, wheels here, Okay, we'll compete with anything out there. What you're talking about is a 365, 20,000 pound front end. Now, if you check on the market, the only other coaches out there are gonna be 700, 800, a million, 
a million and a half that's going to have this huge, huge front end. So that gives you tons of ability to put, not worry about your front end weight, potential blowouts, things like that. The Spartan K3 chassis, you look at the statistics, there's other chassis out there, but when you start really getting into it, the million dollar coaches, the million and a half dollar coaches are all running the same K3 Spartan chassis. It's good enough for a ladder truck for a fire engine. It's got two, te uh, two million testing miles on it. It is the biggest, heaviest chassis on the market by far. And other manufacturers have tried to duplicate this chassis and they don't even come close to it. So when you look at it, uh, a lot of manufacturers are actually giving you an option to go this chassis. This is all standard. So I also said disc brakes all the way around. So, but the 265 tires is gigantic. Nobody on the market goes any bigger than that. That is the biggest they offer. The one thing that I like about the coach also is when I open this door, I want you to feel around it. Take this door jam, which I said was standard from the manufacturer, and feel around it. And what you're gonna notice is it actually fits. Say so a lot of manufacturers, when they do a lamination process, which is 99.9% .9 of all coaches out there, those walls are only an inch and a half, inch and three quarters, maybe two inches thick. This is almost four inch thick wall. And you're gonna really feel it by putting your, reaching your hands around, go around there, and what you'll notice with a lot of them is they build it up with one buys just to fit this door frame. All right, so this is two by three aluminum studs, 16 on center. This is not just a bunch of wood thrown out there and laminated. Let me tell you the difference between a lamination and a hung wall. I brought my little prop here. All right, lamination wall, right there is the thickness of your fiberglass. It comes in a roll, and it's about the thickness of a business card, because I can't bend fiberglass any thicker than that. This one right here, Integra, quarter inch thick, 15 foot sheets, and it's glued on, not laminated on. Thickest sidewall in the industry by far. So there's two ways you can tell real quick which one it is, is the door jam, and the other one is just simply sight down the coach. Ryan, sight down the coach, what you're gonna see is a nice smooth side, and you're not gonna see enough waves in it to cause, uh, cause seasickness. All right, typical coach, you go look at a $600,000 coach, and the sidewall is an absolute mess when it comes to the waves, because when they do that vacuum process, it goes around the structure and causes dips. When you do a gluing process like this, it has a nice clean look. On the, on, on, just the way the engineering of this coach is, and I'll be able to show you this later, but you'll notice that this coach, when this slide comes in, recesses to where it has a nice even flow to it. Okay, it's not gonna have an overlap, typically, because they have an inch and a half, two inches of play, and it's not really engineered that quite well. They'll put a four inch frame all the way around the slide room. And then that way, when it comes in, it doesn't really matter if it fits or not. This one, when it comes in, is going to look beautiful. You're going to have to look at it twice to make sure it is a slide coming out of there. And they believe in simple. It's not complicated. It's electric, electric motor. Accessibility to that motor is four half-inch bolts. Unscrew it, put another one in, and in 15 minutes, you're going down the highway. Hydraulics are awesome. I used to deal with manufacturers with hydraulics all the time until they don't work and then it's a disaster. This thing I can get on the road with a slide in simply by releasing the electric motor. I can have two guys either push it in or I can take a motor that if I don't carry one off the bedroom and I'll show you that later where it unbolts, it flips right up and it goes right straight up. You'll see electric motor if you peek in and, and the easy access. 150 gallon fuel tank I can fill from either side. I got a 10 inch uh, stainless steel strip here for uh, pizzazz. I also have a decent sized refrigerator slash refrigerator uh, slash freezer, I'm sorry. 
That is electric, uh, 12 volt or 110. This coach, standard, is electric slide trays. That will take a thousand pounds. It comes out either way, but it makes it very nice to get to your stuff and not have to break your back to do it. I have another one here, again, standard. And notice how I slam that door, it's like a car door. All right, this, this is quality all throughout. All right, I have a TV. A lot of people have TVs in the bay. They put the, uh, Integra puts them right here. And then this is kind of nice. The sun's in your way, your crowd's out here. You can actually angle the TV to whatever direction you want. That is very nice. The awnings on this coach is 40 some odd foot, Gerard awnings. It's on the very top. I have the little LED lights coming on it, but the very top, if you can see that. And it comes out about 10 feet and it's got like a 45 degree angle to it. The sensors, instead of the old twirly bird that used to be on the roof that the trees used to break and nobody knew whether their sensors worked or not, are now tied into the arm of the coach. And so you got a little mercury switch that if it gets too windy, it'll be about 17, 18 miles an hour, it'll tuck in by itself. All automatic, please don't count on it, because uh, if you're gonna go hiking or whatever, it just takes a flick of a, a button, a push of a button, and you can put everything in and stow it in case a storm comes up or whatever. They do a beautiful job on the paint. Paint's a big deal for these motorhomes. It's much easier to use a car paint. The problem is, is in today's world, a lot of black. We're in Florida, but anywhere in the country. What happens with black is black fiberglass heats up and then it expands. And then what you'll find is on the cheaper paint jobs, a bunch of spider webs. And what's happening is the fiberglass is expanding, contracting, but the paint isn't. So if I'm using a car paint, which is not used to expanding, you have to use Sickens, which is a boat paint from Holland, four times more expensive, but it's the best paint in the business, and it always pops. It always looks fresh. Ten years from now, it's still going to be a perfect paint job. They do a nice job folding everything in, tying everything in, but the paint job I'll put up against anybody. It's the best in the business. Look at the back end of it. I, again, lights up like a Christmas tree looks gorgeous. This is going to have a highlight of red and of course the braking light will take off red when you uh, hit the brakes. You got the red lights up top and see that little globe up there in, the, in about a quarter way down uh, for your backup camera? That's actually a joystick on your dash to where you can move that camera any way you want. I can go 180 degrees this way, that way, straight up, straight down, and so if I'm getting up to a tree and I'm worried about it, I can actually move my camera up to that tree limb to focus to see if I'm going to hit anything. So it's an awesome little camera. It's set up. It's also got a fat fan in there that if there's water and a lot of moisture, it'll blow the fan off and keep your lens clean. So it's a, it's, it's a brilliant way of doing it. So this is a huge hitch and it takes 20,000 pounds. So if you're one of these that has to have a toy barn follow you that's 30 feet long with a stacker and put a car in there and all that, this coach will handle it. Now we discuss the side radiator versus a rear radiator. I can't believe how many coaches are coming out with a rear radiator, but it's strictly cost. What happens with a side radiator versus a rear radiator is these motors are all computerized, okay? So you're not going to be able to overheat it, run it too hot, whatever, because the computer in the coach and in the motor will keep you from doing that. So this one gives you maximum airflow, okay? 20% better airflow versus the side radi uh, rear radiator. Not only at $150 an hour for a mechanic to get through it and have to track through all the hoses through the bedroom, doesn't make the wife happy. This one, I can get to everything from the rear. I have 20% better airflow, maximum performance, and where that's gonna be very important to you is going up those mountains. 
You get so, those mountains up in Colorado somewhere, the grade is ridiculous. You'll be the one on the left-hand lane waving bye to all the trucks that are on the right-hand lane struggling to get up. And a lot of that has to do with the torque, the horsepower, the motor, and the side radiator. So it's very important. This is a big deal for a lot of people. When I go to these truckers, they all talk about deaf on the wrong side, deaf on the wrong side. This is now deaf on the right side, okay? So it is on the driver's side. It doesn't matter how I flow in, but most of these tanks, when I go to these truckers, the deaf is right there on the driver's side uh, next to the fuel tank, and I can fill right here. And so it makes it extremely convenient. Again, you got more sensors. If I get too close to anything, I got that, uh, the steer tag or the uh, trailing tag with the power uh, motor in it to force it straight. So I got maximum turning capability. I come all the way over here. This is the best thing since sliced bread. Three inch hose has been around forever. It's a gravity. You go to any park, you'll see people with the bridges and all this trying to get the gravity flow going. And uh, these guys did it right. I, I got basically a garden hose hooked up to this macerator that is gigantic. The biggest gripe about macerators has been it takes too much, too slow, uh, it, it takes forever to drain anything. I, the way this motor is working, and I'll open this up a little bit and show you, and Ryan you need to focus in on this thing, is you look at this motor here, and that is the biggest macerator motor I've ever seen on anything, let alone a motorhome. What that's going to mean to you is I can go through 100 gallons of fluid in less than three minutes. Now, if you need to use the three-inch hose, you're stuck at a campsite for two months or whatever you want to, there's a bypass here that you can get underneath and hook up your three-inch hose. But this is a lot more sanitary. I don't need the rubber gloves. I don't need to connect anything. And if I don't like the neighbor, this thing will spray 20 feet. So I can actually spray somebody, but that's how fierce this, this motor is. So it's the best system in the business. Now I have electric dump valves, I have water filters, hot and cold shower waters, uh, sink water filters, electric hoses, flush valves, everything I could possibly put in a utility bay is in this bay. Now when I wrap this up, it closes tightly, I put a paper towel, soap dispenser, I'm set. So it's about the cleanest utility uh, storage area I've ever seen. Electric cord reel, 50 amps obviously, and the 450 Aqua Hot. If your coach is not running Aqua Hot, uh, you have not lived. Uh, Aqua Hot is a diesel-fired diesel radiator system, hot water, a lot healthier. That will heat up a 2,000 square foot building, and what is this, 400, 400 square foot at most? So you have ample heat, sub-zero temperature, twice if not triple the insulation factor. Uh, you can, if you're one of these that wants to go skiing in the wintertime, this is about as efficient as it gets. All right, so now that we did the outside, let's do the inside. Notice how that door, okay, so when I put the car, uh, the uh, engine in gear, you're going to hear this big snap, and what that's doing is tying in and, and air locking that door to where you don't get the vibration and air noise from the outside, so it's a pretty nice little feature. I have a step cover that will come out, but not only does it come out, and it's very simple, it's right over there, but it comes out, it actually lifts up, so it's going to be even all right, with the passenger seat. So both these seats will turn totally. So you got a 180. And then this one actually, because this one always did have a recliner with a footrest, this one actually has one as well. So with this setup, because this coach is gonna have the option theater seating package, it usually comes with an L shape. The theater seating's on fire. You could actually fall asleep in these things. The TV right here extremely comfortable and what's nice for the grandkids is everything has seatbelts. All right, so they can go down the highway 
and be perfectly comfortable and perfectly safe. So when I'm parked, I can actually turn this around. You don't have to fight for this chair anymore because both of them are footrests, both of them are recliners, it's, so it's a pretty neat little feature. This makes us exclusive. Spartan came out with Valet, a new computer screen, and what it does, it's pretty simple, but it's absolutely amazing. See, no more, if you look right here, there's no more keys to actually turn the ignition. All right, everything's going on this thing. So I can actually hit this once, and what happens is this thing will light up, and uh, my systems will get in, the Spartan will kick in, and look at that dash. That's about as trick as it gets. All right, so it allows me, this is a 15-inch computerized dash that does about 2,000 systems in your coach without you even realizing it. So it's, it's a pretty neat little system. I have a joystick over here, and that allows me to control those things. So I don't have to reach in. I don't have to worry about anything like that, but I can actually check, and I'll get, uh, not get in too much into it, but right in here is my control panel. So I see settings. I push this thing here. I can do actually screen positions. All right, you're tall like I am. I'm always messing with the steering wheel. This one, if you'll notice how the dash is, uh, control system is going up and down. So it's pretty neat. Uh, I actually can do low uh, uh, tire pressure service. And this one also not only has monitors for your tires of the coach, but it will also tie in to your towed vehicle. So you have four more tires and it all controls right here. We'll actually have the idiot lights, which is green, so I don't have to look at it, whether it's too hot, too cold, or, or uh, not enough air. It'll just say green. It will give you your temperature. It will give you your air, but green is within the official guidelines. So if I want to do a ch quick test, I can go through it. The nice thing also with this, is not only, like I said, adjustable, my cameras are tied in as far as my control, my uh, collision avoidance. I could put a mapping device here and actually flip it over to here so I'm not looking sideways, trying to figure out where I'm going. Uh, this uh, obviously also for Integra, and that's kind of been their trademark that the navigation system will shoot up to the front TV here. But now, this thing will actually lift and go into this system. So it's a pretty neat little feature. All right, what we got with Integra Coach is not only uh, a value, which I think it is the best bang for the buck, and that's frankly all the way down the line. It's also quality, all right? This is 70% Amish, company's been around 50 years. Uh, this is uh, uh, you know just amazing what they've done. But uh, uh, they have a state-of-the-art 300,000 square foot factory. It's probably capable of doing 15 coaches a day. Uh, their production line right now is two, and I think they're working to two and a half, three a day. Far less than the industry standard where you get into uh, manufacturers that are one-third the size, if not smaller, and they're doing 17 coaches a day. All right, so when these guys build a coach, they try to stay with the same coach, meaning They'll do six cornerstones at once. They'll do six all the way down the line at once. So that technician is used to the systems, used to everything. So that's what I really like. Plus, the cornerstone guy is also working in the lower line. So they, they really, the quality end of it is going to be superior than anything out there. Of course, solid woods. This is all cherry. Uh, you have real leather now, not this vinyl stuff that they call pleather or whatever. This is all real leather. The dual, uh, dual pane windows for insulation. The one thing that, uh, that people don't understand is, okay, insulation is quiet. The side benefit, of course, is I'm running less air conditioner, less heat in the hot weather, less air conditioning, uh, less uh, heater in the cold weather and that kind of stuff. But the entire reason why Integra does the two by three, 16 on center, four almost you know three and three quarters whatever almost four inch walls versus the industry standard two inch all right that's already double the r factor the ceiling's already do double the r factor of everybody else they're one of the few that take the front and rear caps and insulate it it's amazing how many just do the sidewalls and that's it so that is where the noise is coming from but the most important thing is the floor all right this coach has done what i call a floating deck okay so 
Typically, you have your chassis, you lay your plywood on top of it, and then you're running right down the road. But people don't realize 80% of my noise that I'm going down the highway is coming from the floor between uh, the tires, transmissions, the motors, the differentials, uh, uh, you know, road hazards of any kind, the grooves on the road. All right, so if I can quiet that up, then that's going to be part of the reason why this is the quietest coach on the market. So if I have R factors that are double the, the sidewalls, double the roof, how about this? A typical floor is an R6. All right. They don't put a lot of effort. Manufacturers don't put a lot of effort in the floor. This one's an R33. All right. I'm four times the width of a typical floor. So you got R6 and an R33. So when I'm t four times the quietness, double here, double here, that's going to be a big reason why this coach is the quietest coach on the road. See, so I'm going down the highway. Now, what I am allowed to do that I build this floor up so much, they use two by fours. All right. And it's what I call floating deck. So you got the chassis that is doing all this while you're going down the highway. And then you have your deck that kind of just floats on top. What that's going to mean to you is less likely breaking these tiles, less likely the squeaks, the rattles, because they do a, a, something else that is exclusive to them too. What they do is they take the tile and that's the last thing they put in, okay? Meaning most manufacturers has a tile on a big floor. It's done in another room. They take a crane, they lay it on top, and then the tile, uh, the walls, the cabinets, everything is put on top of the tile. I don't know if they glue it or whatever they do, but the problem is, is it doesn't take much to get a squeak. It's like 1 64th of an inch will get you a squeak. And this coach works against squeaks. So they lay this like a house. It's a lot more cost, but it's a better way of doing it. So when I say that is all these interior walls, all this cabinetry, the tile is actually cut around it. So what that's gonna mean to you is the walls are wood, that's bolted into wood. The cabinet's wood, that's bolted into wood. So you're gonna get a minimum of squeaks. Not only that, but let's say, God forbid, you do have a squeak or a rattle or a crack on your tile. I don't have to pull and make a major effort because that break in that tile is right there at the wall. So that makes it extremely clean, very nice, efficient, and then quiet, which is what we're all after because you're basically a rolling earthquake going down the road. So you are 60 miles an hour. You want to be quiet and in comfort. This is where that coach maximizes. All right, so you got the biggest, uh, one of the biggest kitchens in the business. This pulls out. You have drawers, dishwashers, more drawers, that new induction, boil water in 40 seconds. It's absolutely amazing. You put your hand in here after you're done and it's cold. And then the cabinetry, you got enough light switches and everything else, but the cabinetry is all solid, handmade, just a beautiful job. Now what's on the control system, what's pretty cool what these guys have done is the valet system that they're using will work 100% of the coach. All right, this system right here is absolutely amazing. The other thing is, is you take your cell phone and for $14.95 you get on uh, um, the Androids or Apple or whatever and you can download the app for this thing, tie it into your phone, tie it into your iPad and work 100% of the systems. All right, a couple years ago we had this system and it didn't work the heating system. It, it was hardwired. If you had an issue, you had to unbolt it, FedEx it over to the guys uh, to fix it, come in. Now this is tied into the internet. It's the trickiest thing you ever want to see. So if you have an issue, you get them on hooked up on the phone, they can actually work the system, figure out where the bugs are right here. So it's pretty trick. It's pretty nice. The latest of the latest, and, and it, it's a pretty reliable system as well. So that's, that's a real nice feature. Uh, in this uh, bathroom here, again, my multiplex system, like I said, there's no more fuses. So if there's a red light that shows up here, you can just kind of read what it is. You push the button, 
and you just reset it the entire coach. So that's a pretty neat little feature. You'll notice the doors are not hollow. All right, these are solid, heavy, handmade doors. And then you can actually walk in it. Some of these coaches, it's amazing that they'll have a hinge right here and you gotta kinda fit yourself in it and it's, it's a strange way of setting it up. This door right here is an absolute work of art. Solid panel, heavier as all get out, but it's just a beautiful piece of workmanship. Cabinetry, 50% quieter air conditioners, triple air conditioners, heat pumps, uh, ceiling fan. A lot of coaches don't run ceiling fans. And then I have my secret compartment in here. And we run all ours with a high definition wine guard traveler system. That's where all this would come in. And then I have a safe. When this first started doing this, it took me like 20 minutes to try to figure out where it is because they're usually in the closet, they're usually under the bed. So this is nice with these new flat screens that I can do an actual hidden compartment. And then 100% of these dimmer switches, okay, uh, uh, on the coach is dimmers, I'm sorry. 100% of these switches are dimmers. So I can do it uh, high, low, whatever. A full residential uh, king bed. And so the height is wonderful, I'm 6'4". And I, I can wear, I usually wear a hat at the show and I never have a problem. And even I don't have a problem with the fan, which has caused a lot of scratches over the years. But this one is much higher and makes it much nicer. All right, now these pocket doors is a pretty neat feature too. Again, I was talking and emphasizing quiet. When I'm going down the highway, this is what I get. Just like the air system I told you on the front door, I have something here, it's like a little hockey puck, and the minute I put this thing in gear, you'll hear the snap in the front door, pulling that door in. You'll also feel this door, or look at this door, it's gonna raise up, because there's a little hockey puck that expands and keeps this door from rattling. So, side benefit, I forgot to lock it in. I don't have to run back here at 60 miles an hour trying to get this door to lock it in. It'll be locked right now just by having it in gear. Now I want you to go into the bathroom and I'll show some custom features that are very nice. One is, is that people don't realize, okay, height, I bring up height, there's a lot of, you know, people that are not necessarily 6'4", but when you're talking about height, you're also talking about cabinets and you're also talking about windows. A lot of times when I walk into a coach with a rear bath, I got a duck, all right? I got plenty of height here. I can walk in, easy to get in. There's so many coaches out there that I have to duck and it just drives me nuts. All right, this shower right here is the best shower in the business. It's a custom shower. Uh, that bench will lift up. You have nice uh, uh, finished tile, a uh, little mosaic, but it's, it's big enough to turn around. A heftier guy can turn around, maneuver. Your wife could sit down, do whatever she needs to do. And, and it's, it's wonderful on the cornerstone. It's not just a prefab molded piece of plastic. You got a full washer and dryer. And that's an apartment style washer and dryer. That's not a motorhome washer and dryer. So wool pull, you can actually do laundry just the way you normally do it. You have a, a macerator commode. Okay, there's a lot of manufacturers out there who want run a two bathroom setup and what they do is they'll have two separate dumps. This is a macerator runs to the main dump so I only need one valve to, to do both my commodes. So that's a nice little feature as well. The sinks. All right, double vanity in this model and then I also have openings. So it's very clean, to the point. I have plugs in each side. All right, thank you very much. I hope you learned something. Uh, what you can do is this is the all new Integra Coach Cornerstone. In my opinion, one of the best values on the market today. You can check us out at rv1.com for more information. Give us a call anytime. Thank you very much.